Well, 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 we're back and apparently we have um, some power issues. <laughs> Don't know why, because we should have plenty of power battery to last us through the night, no? Apparently not. Okay. So, we're going to start having some massive issues if we're not careful here. And it says our plants are weathering and stuff. Is it because, surely, like, CO2 canister thing, like this, right here. It uses way too much C2O. Available point for technological advancement. Unless they changed it. So there was a new update. Yep, this one's almost empty. My CO2 bottle is empty. My oxygen bottle's almost empty. So like I can only clean like two of those at a time. So that's not great. Uh, let's get some water. Make sure that's full. Yep. That'll be good enough. So anyways, today, other than the massive, like, obvious thing that we got going on here. Um, we can recharge from these now. If there's power to them. Which there's not. Power to that one right there. And obviously I can just unplug this for a second. And then I can charge up my suit from the transformers now and batteries now. So that is a new, there's an auto walk function, which I don't really care for or whatever. Not really my worry on anything. Apparently our suit was really dead. But we need to really start doing some major exploring. Because we need to not only upgrade this, we need to upgrade our solar panels, obviously. Technology point wise, um, we don't have anything here at the moment. We just got an electricity point, but we have actually two here. But we need this right here. And then... Materials, so mechanics, technology unlocked workbench, technology unlocked small accumulator upgrade, blueprint unlocked ATV. Have we unlocked? I don't know if we've unlocked that blueprint yet. I think that's one of the ones we have to go find. Yeah. Collapse. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of my goal. Hopefully I can find both of those. If we look at the map. Um, from what I've seen, but I don't know exactly. It's all procedurally generated. So the further we explore, the more it make, starts making the map. Is there a question mark here somewhere? That's how I can usually... Like, there's got to be a tablet somewhere in here. It's massive. But I feel like we'd stay all day down there exploring. And I don't remember where all we've gone. We went to these, right? Pretty sure we went to all these. I obviously... We haven't gone to this one yet. 
Because the, the map's not out that direction. I say... That's the thing, I don't remember which ones we've gone to and which ones we haven't. Because I marked them as in, uh, I need to go here. I'm not seeing, like, question marks or anything around them. Time's not moving, right? You know what? Let's just pick one. Pick this one right here. Going to track it. We're going to make it red. We're going to head out. We're going we're gonna to jump on our ATV. Hopefully it's uh, fully charged. Okay, good. And remember, we need to be careful because last time we uh, cracked our helmet when looking for some stuff. I'm not going to show you all of these like travel sequences because that's boring. So I will see y'all when we get to the base and we'll see if we find any tablets. All right, all right, we are approaching our first little base of the day. Look at this, there's like some mountains in the background. It's really cool. All right, now, did I keep the option of Interface. Because this makes it a little easier to find things. So make sure we're not missing something. We're going to kind of walk around the outside of the buildings first. We got these little habitats in here. I don't know if we've already been to this one or not. Hopefully not. Like I said, I don't remember. There's stuff on the ground. So that should have been highlighted. There's already a tablet. So like, let me see. Is it interface? Always? Except. Ah, there it is. So that's a good way to see everything. And not miss anything. That way we don't have to sit here and waste our time going through all the different doors. Ooh, big circuit board. So we'll know if there's something in here because it'll be highlighted. Plates I'll take. Some MREs. Is that another circuit board? Sweet. And I'm not seeing, oh, there's something outside there. Super cool. What was out here? Right there. I'm gonna have to grind this to get to that. I'll always take the materials, so not a big deal. Big circuit board again. Uh, let us see which, oof, it's a full inventory already. Abandoned tablet, use. What do we get? Efficient photoval photoics, voltaics. Um, but that's exactly what we were looking for. So let's go to our technology trees here. Electricity. Can we unlock it? Okay, we can't unlock that. Do we need the more efficient? 
Electricity. Technology access. Okay, we needed that. Increased. So we needed the two points anyways. Electricity. Technology access level increase. Science bench will take us further down the line. Too bad we can't like get the uranium power right now and stuff like that. Like solar panel three, work in progress. Come on. Automated panel cleaning. Come on. Okay. Anyways. Um, so that one's done. Can I like put a... We'll put a carrot there. The carrot means we've been there. Oh, look at that. There's a question mark here. Interesting. Um... That one red. That's where we're heading. And then we'll, there's a question mark in that area. What time is it? One o'clock. We should have plenty of time. Let's go see what this question mark is too when we head in that direction. Who knows what it is? I don't. Let's go. Here we are approaching another base. This might be a good one to come back to because it's got a lot of uh, solar panels out here. Um, that way we don't have to make the, uh, a lot of solar. If I have time, I'll go ahead and start scrapping stuff while I'm here. I'm also curious about what the, uh, what am I thinking about? What the, pick those up. I can pick that up. Small circuit board. Is that a tablet out there? That's electronics. There's a tablet right there. Sweet. Abandoned tablet. Don't think I have room for that. Yeah, no. Really need, uh... Really need this, uh, better... ATV, because I think you can put, like, a little box on the back of it for help out with stuff like that. Those electronics. Other than that, I don't see anything else. So I will. Let's use this abandoned tablet. Maybe we'll be lucky enough and it'll be exactly what we need. Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Right there. Use. Large replaceable accumulator. Um... I can say with certainty that it's an unforgettable experience. I was able to complete my final task and design an improvement to the vehicle. So... Rover power extension is what that does. We don't even have the rover yet. Keep moving. Um, so O2's getting low. We're gonna be fine for the moment. I'm a little worried about like my base though when it comes to power and stuff. So we need to remember. Um, we're at this one right here. I want to change this one to yellow. That way we can find it a little bit more. There's a question mark. Do we go to the center of the question mark here? Or not?
do need to be careful because there's not a ton of time left. Is that base marked? Yeah, we are 1400 meters from our base. To the center of the uh, question mark. I don't know if that's going to change anything. Here's the center of the question mark. I do see two bases here. Were these on the map? Okay. Those are both on the map. Do you want to try to run into both of these right quick and see if there's another abandoned tablet? And I see something over in the distance there. We're going to have to come back. I see a crashed shuttle, it looks like. Or something, a crash rocket, something over there. And we'll have to come back. Turn on my flashlight. Looking for a tablet. You're right there, actually. Solar cells, yes, please. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Circuit board. We have to start coming back for circuit boards, we will. And sorry if you hear my cat yelling at me in the background for no reason. She just wants attention for no reason. She gets plenty. That looks like the tablet. I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna grab and go. Inventory film. Um, let's drop that small circuit board. Can use it once I find it. Use the rover. See, I have ATV. I might. What am I missing? I don't have points. That's what I'm missing. I'm an idiot. Ah, uh, I need points. I think that means I'm going to have to do some. Uh, I'm going to have to do some. What's it called? Mining. It's a good way to get those points. <laughs> Anyways, hey, we got the uh, we got the rover, so there's that. Drop down from here, no. All right, so I am gonna head back to my base. I'm gonna pick up these MREs. Sorry if we're missing a bunch of stuff in here. We're just running really short on time already. And it's really annoying to have to sit here and open and close all these doors. So 
So I'll be back when we get back to our base and start the next day. So just a quick, as I'm heading back to base, I'm actually going to do a lot of mining and stuff here in between. That way we can get an ATV built. So I just need to earn a mechanic point and then we're good. After that, we should be solid and then we'll get the new ATV and head back over here and check out this other little base real quick and we'll check out the uh, that rocket that we saw in the distance. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. And start upgrading solar panels. I'm probably gonna do a lot of that between episodes, but definitely get a few done today. All right, so we're back in here. Um, got these all plants moved around. They're growing. We're still getting uh, some power issues overnight which is kind of crazy because I added two big solar panels. Those are the only two places so far I could place them, by the way. Is there and there. I'm going to keep looking to see, like, it will not let me place them anywhere. Added another module here. Added another battery module here. So hopefully by the end of today, because we are pumping 144 in, only 60 out. So hopefully the 720 can get us through the night. I don't know though. Because, uh, I have to add. Anyways, as you can see, we have some stuff here. Let's start with botany. Is there anything we want? Faster growth, maybe. Oh, let's just do genetic engineering. Botany. Technology access we'll have to do, we can do science bents maybe next time. Cause we, if we can start working towards like, um, greenhouse, that'd be cool. Electricity, we got another one. Uh, that's for the rover. Let's go and work towards the, Oof. I want to do science bench or do we want to do the large accumulator? We'll do the large accumulator upgrade. Technology access level increased. Materials, we don't have anything but mechanics. We have a point now. Mechanics. Technology now we can do it. Level increased. And then maybe next time we can get this all terrain vehicle crate. Motorcycle looks cool. Uh, remote control. Interesting. It's for like the flying drone and stuff. And a Mars truck, which we don't have yet. Jackhammer 3 will be nice soon. I think kind of our next little like area though is going to be the science bench over to the rover. It's going to be kind of our next move there. So yeah. Let's see, what is it under? Is it under garage? It's under garage. It is a newer, fancier ATV. I probably do not have enough stuff to make this. Let's see how far we'll get. I won't need electronics and I'm running out of like silicon and and then we also need a small circuit board. Which small circuit boards we got. Equalizing pressure. External oxygen detected. So we need nine electronics, right? Go in here, electronics. So we have the aluminum. We need a total of 54 silicon. Luckily there's some silicon rocks not too far out here. Pressure. These wires, they're a mess. Probably should have done all of this like on the back side so you don't see it. Oh well. All right, so I should have several little silicon rocks over here. I'm going to mine those out. We'll get those printed up. I'll come back out. We'll build it. And then if we have enough time to run to the rocket before the end of the day, we'll do that. If not, We'll figure something else out. And I might even try to get a couple more 
extra stuff just so we can get another battery add-on too. Okay. Right, we just got finished printing up some electronics. I don't think that we'll have enough time to um, drive around or like drive all the way over to that. I mean, it's 1,500 miles out there, or 15, 1,500 meters out there. Oh, I forgot to grab my circuit board. Not enough materials. You know what? This can just get kind of parked over here and forgotten. We'll have it if we need it. We'll do this. Then we don't have to walk all the way back in. Do we have to have an L-shaped small circuit board? Is that the problem? I have... I have a big circuit board like that, but all my... Oh, is it because it's worn down? Need to fix those. Which I haven't had luck fixing yet. Like, I've tried to fix, and then it doesn't actually fix it. So, I don't know. There we go, that's all it was. Look at that. Do we already have, is it, is it fully charged? Fully charged. Does it go any faster? It was about 10 faster. I think the other one was going like 22. So that is what We'll do over here on the last day, or the next day, because we'll take that and go somewhere else. What kind of power do we have? We're full. If I was to build another battery pack upgrade, just keep adding on to it. Uh, can I make enough electronics for it? Not enough materials. I know I don't have enough materials. I just need four electronics. Also, when walking around the base, um, I was able to place more solar panels on the other side, the bigger ones. So what I might do is start just placing big ones on the back side there, and then we'll slowly get rid of all these small ones. Right. Oh. Inventory. And then we get this built and then this, hopefully that extra bit will fill up fairly rapidly. So what are we at? 990 kilowatt hours. So, what is 900? If that's full, divided by 60, that should last 16 hours. So, that should be plenty. So, we should be good now. Um, I need to fill up my water bottles before the sun sets, too. And then I think also next time one of the things we'll do is work on... Oh, forgot to grab it. We'll also work on getting... the well upgrades and stuff like that, start working on a lot of that stuff. Eat. 
Those are the best MREs right there. Yeah. Once we get this cleaned up, like I said, I can put them... I mess with them over here. So, like, see, it won't let me put these anywhere. I can't even go, like, this way with them. But I was able to... See, right here. Now I can start placing them over here. So I don't know what the deal is. Obviously, if I... It's not, like, a close thing because, like, that one placed... But what I can do is I can, whoops, place them over here on this side. I can run, I can put my, my plug in right here. And then I can start running the, the wires and I can plug in the wires right here. We got a new point. Let's check this out. Electricity. I guess let's go with the science bench for now. Technology access level increased. Don't really like there's not a lot right here that we need. The more efficient panels would be nice. Which we don't have that blueprint. Protection would be protection from cold. That'd be real nice because then we don't have to worry about being in all the time. So I think that actually might be our next um, purchase on the electricity one. Let's see. Survival capsule, a living capsule. So we have well tanks and well extensions up here. Freestanding tanks. We don't start getting into like crushers and stuff till over here. The hangar. And the mechanics. We want to get the science bench and down to the rover. Because the rover I think will help us explore a lot more. Of course, there's the jetpack too, but we got to find the, the blueprint for it. Anyways, I'm going to wait out the rest of the night. I might go ahead and start planning out, um, like placing uh, our solar panels while I'm waiting. Because, like I said, I can place them on this side. Kind of. If I get it just right. So I'll kind of start planning these out because if we can get a bunch of these, we'll be making easy power. That right there, that's 120 power. So honestly, all we need is like eight of these and we are solid. We should be solid for a while. So yeah. All right. I will catch back up with y'all on the next day and we will go figure out, we'll go check out that rocket and probably that other base. We made it through the night without running out of power. So that's awesome. We need to do this. I, I got one of the circuit boards to fix, not the other one, weirdly enough. I kept messing with it and it wouldn't take it for some reason. So we do have one that we fixed. Let's get new oxygen bottle switch those out okay and honestly that we should be good I have plenty of water it looks like our foods good I think should be good to go we're only 20 minutes really of sunshine. How are we on battery? We're already back up to half. Yep. So we're only a half. Let's jump 
on this. Let's head to... Is it the red one? I think it was the red one. So this should be slightly faster travel. Hopefully uh, I don't hurt myself because I haven't made repair kits in a while. E okay. Anyways, I will see y'all when we get over to uh, the base we didn't explore and then we were going to head out over to that rocket. And that's what we're going to do today. Like, that'll be it. Well, we just got sidetracked. I found a cave entrance. Don't know what these do. Wrong button. Wrong button. Oh. What do we have? We can't even scan it. Okay. We can't break it. So I wonder, is this something that's not implemented in? Maybe I don't have the right equipment? Oh, there's like tunnels and these are, this is all ore pieces. I'm gonna end up getting lost. Uh, it's all green right there. You see that? How much you want to bet that's uranium? Yep. That's exactly what that is. Okay. Take a screenshot of that. Now let's get out of here. Uh, there's uranium there. I need to mark this on the map. That way we know for the future when, uh, you're... Because right now I can't use uranium, but that way when I can use uranium, I will be able to come straight over here and find it. Cool. Map. Name, cave, icon, there we go, okay, now that we've got completely sidetracked, oh my gosh, stop that, sorry, I've been playing other games where like, mo mostly Star Citizen, where you turn off your headlamp with T, so I keep hitting T and then all it does is, yeah, you see what it's doing. It's open technology. That didn't take too much time to explore. So we have this base right here that we did not explore. And then we have the rocket we saw in the distance that we should go check out. And we left that one marked because we wanted to make sure because it's where all the solar panels were at. Okay, let's turn on our little cheat thing. That way we don't miss anything. I do hate that I have to open all these doors all the time. But 
Yeah, I would totally miss like those processed foods and stuff all the time. If we didn't do this. I don't know if this just goes right back outside or what. Yep. He does. Looks like we got everything in here. He puts this many airlocks inside of a building. Super annoying. Tronics, thank you. I want to get a screenshot of this real quick. Is it just going to glow? Really hoping it wouldn't glow. Okay. Let's see what that is here in a second. Can't wait to get a greenhouse like this. Make the chair spin. And I'll need to do some base scrapping too in between episodes to make sure that we get a, a lot more material. I'm definitely needing a lot of electronics right now to start working towards uh, more better solar panels. There, it looks like there's a couple things over in that direction. I'm loving. Oh, that's a steel plate right there. Give me that steel plate. It won't let me. Available point for technological advancement. That's great. Like a MRE and a large circuit board, which I'm assuming those will start coming in handy. We need to get moving. I am tired of opening up all these doors. <laughs> We can keep from uh, doing this on our base. I'm definitely going to keep from doing it. I'll do corridors, not airlocks. Okay, so I believe we saw it when we were over at... Uh, what's that? Look like big rover pieces. Can I scrap them? I guess I can just scrap them. Anyways. Yeah, I see all these solar panels would be good to scrap. I think there's a bunch of solar panels at that one, too. Okay, let me see if I can find that rocket in the distance again. Let's say it was back this way just a little bit. Yep. 
Yep, I see it now. And if you look way off to the right, I'll kind of look in that direction over there. That's another cave right there. Because that's how I found the other one. So cool. You can see caves from a very long way, apparently. And this looks like the crash shuttle. Now, is it the shuttle? No, the, cr the shuttle that... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I just got like super laggy. I was gonna say, is it the shuttle that, uh, that blew up right there at the beginning? But no, because that literally blew up. Oh my gosh, I just. All of a sudden, I can't control this thing. I was fine. And now I'm not. Oh yeah, we have that abandoned tablet we need to look at, too. So... Bad rat! Like, what's the story here? Can I get inside? Oh, looks like there's a door right there. Looks like there's stuff inside. wonder if I have to build something. Do I have to connect a solar panel to it? Let's see. Can I build a solar panel? So if I could build one right now. Should be able to. Not enough materials. Oh, I don't have solar cells. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here. There's not like a... Interactable or anything. So I bet you I have to... Because there's like... There's a plug there. Looks like there's some crates inside. Looks like it's mostly just loot. Can't tell. Is there a tablet in there? Some electronics. So I'll leave this there. We'll try to come back at the beginning of next episode. To this. Oh, let's check what that abandoned tablet was that we got. And we'll bring enough materials to open that up. Use faster growth too. Cool. Oh, and we have points on electricity. Yes. Can we get? We cannot get protection from the cold yet, even though it shows that we can. Oh, we have to do it through the science bench, I think. Okay. Because I can't do any of these. I need this. <laughs> okay. Anyways. So. We'll get a science bench done. We'll get. Uh, some more solar panels up. In between episodes. Go down right here. Yeah that looks fairly safe. Kind of. Um, we'll get some materials grinded out. We'll come, we'll try to start our episode over here. And then we'll just kind of keep going from there. We'll kind of see where this goes, uh, as we're building bases and stuff. I'm going to keep trying to upload this on every Monday. And we got American Truck Simulator on Thursdays. We have Star Citizen stuff on Fridays, and then we're going to start seeing some live stream stuff pop in for my Twitch channel. If you haven't followed me on Twitch yet, go do that. Link is 
uh, on my homepage. You can see the little Twitch symbol there. Make sure you go do that and catch me Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday nights. Um, 7 p.m. Central Time to 10 p.m. Central Time. We're playing V Rising on Mondays. We're playing usually a multiplayer game on Wednesdays with either a friend. If that doesn't work out, we're doing like Star Citizen usually. And then Friday's a Star Citizen night as well. So that's 7 p.m. Central Time, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It'd be great if I saw y'all there. So hopefully you liked this episode. If so, make sure you put a big old thumbs up on it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch y'all next time. Goodbye.